I don't know how many of you guys knew Ira Zapp, who he passed away, I want to say in July. It's been almost a year now. Mm -hmm. Terrific, just an amazing spiritual guy. And he used to write prayers. And I, and I always found it really amazing. Like, I always thought prayers were just sort of handed down, like they came in some biblical book from a zillion years ago. And here's a guy who was actually writing them. And so he was ill, and I wrote this prayer for Ira. And uh, it's called Prayer of Ira Zepp. This is how I knew the truth. Because he wore a college t-shirt and baseball cap. Because he was erect, grounded, held up on simple stanchions of love, family, struggle. This is what a prayer looks like that hasn't fluttered, ancient and crumbling from a rugged cross. It has a beard. It laughs. It calls out in joy, Yahweh, Jehovah, Father, we love you. Help us. Just that. It breathes. This is the prayer that followed the passageways and escaped the catacombs. Thank God. Here's a prayer for today, for pain, for hope, for the door we seek but cannot seem to find. When I would see him, I would breathe him in like a late November air, unblemished and rare. When he kissed me, his breath smelled like mother's milk. When he kissed me, he taught me the simplest of truths. Love, family, struggle. Thank God for that. Thank God for him. Amen.